Guys, what's up everybody, good looking loser. This is Chris Lenahan. I'm here to talk to y'all about what I've learned from my very first fuck buddy. A little bit of background. Um, prior to this girl, um, prior to fucking this girl about a week and a half ago, I had only had sex with four total girls. And all four of those were one night stands. So that means that I had put my wiener in a vagina a grand total of four times. So acquiring a fuck buddy is a really big deal for me. Um, I've had sex four times in the past week and a half, which is literally as many times as I've had sex all 23 years prior to that. So I'm here to talk to y'all about just a few of the things I've learned. Um, Take everything I have to say with a grain of salt, as I just explained. I'm not a wizard about these things. These are just a few of the observations that I've made that seem to work really well when you have a girl in your bed. And I feel like some of these things that I do are reasons why she comes back and sees me basically anytime I want her to come see me. Or these are things that I do that I feel like make her become more attracted to me just because uh, it sets the tone of the dynamic like I'm the man as Sam would like to say I am masculine I have power I have strength respect me you will follow what I have to say I control your emotions and that's what you want you want to be dominated by me you want your emotions to go from one side of the spectrum to the other but you don't want them to be random you want me to be in control and I'm gonna list about I'm gonna list about five things that I just randomly started doing over the time that this girl has started coming over that just happened naturally because I did them. Um, these aren't like P way like techniques or some shit that they advise you to do in bed, you know. Or these are just things that I that I had done naturally that I saw a really good um, response response from. So on the topic of having a girl's emotions change and you know you kind of be in control, it's gonna sound funny. I don't know if I set the set the stage up for this, but these are some of the things I do to make 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 my fuck buddy basically just crawl up in my fucking lap and just purr. And I'm gonna list all five right now and then I'll kinda go into details. And I hope this makes sense. I don't know if I'm doing a great job of explaining it right now. But here it is, slap her face, make her cold, hold her off the bed, tickle her, and leave her alone. Okay, I'm gonna repeat those, and then I'm gonna go into details. So you're gonna slap her in the face, you're gonna make her cold, hold her off the bed, tickle her, and leave her alone. All right, so here comes the details. And I'm gonna set up the stage at which basically all of these occur. When my fuck buddy comes over, we're in bed 99% of the time. So all five things that I just listed happen in bed. And, um, okay, first off is slap her in the face. Not like a huge slap in the face, but we're just laying in bed, chilling, whether it's pillow, you know, after you've had sex and you're just talking, or before you've had sex, just slap her in the face. Just do this. Just not like a hard slap, obviously, but just do that. And if she's having fun, she's going to play along and slap you back. And you can continue to just slap each other three or four times, but at some point you're gonna to want to make a calibrated decision, and instead of slapping her, you're gonna just you're just gonna to want to put your hand on her face and basically just caress it. And I swear to fucking god, the first time I ever did this, she just melt. She just like fucking melted. She made a noise like my dick was going in her put in her fucking pussy. Like it was amazing. I was like, pop pop pop, and then just like put my hand on her face and just caressed it and. As I said earlier, her emotions just went from like, boom, here to here. And it was like, it was here because I wanted it to be here, and then it was here. She just, I mean, she always lays on me anyways, but like, after I started just caressing her face, she immediately just, just melted. So that's one, slap her in the face, and then caress her face. But don't be rapey about it, you know, just have fun. And if she's not slapping you back, then... I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't had that reaction yet. So, okay, here's the next one. Um, make her cold. Um, when my girl comes over, 
I usually keep it about 68, 69. And at some point just last night, I had removed the covers off of her body and she got like cold like immediately. And I just let her just sit in the cold for like 10 seconds. And she was whining and crying the whole time. Oh my God, it's so fucking cold, blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I put the covers back on her, she once again just like melted on me. And immediately I was like, okay, that's that's kind of similar. That reaction was pretty similar to when I slapped her in the face and then caressed her face. Um, so make her cold and then give her the ability to wrap you up to make her warm. Next one, hold her off the bed. Now, if I could actually have a, like a video of this in the bed, I could probably explain it better. But when I say hold her off the bed, when you're cuddling with each other or whatever, if you make her feel like she's going to fall and that you are the only thing that is holding her on the bed and you just play around with that for a, whatever you feel like, your calibrated amount of time, um, and then reel her back in and let her know that she's sure surefire safe at this point. Once again, her emotions are here. She feels like she's gonna fall off. She knows that you're in control of her. She thinks you're not gonna let her drop her, but you hold her off the bed just enough to where she really doesn't know. And then you pull her back in and she's just, she's just saturated with your masculinity whatever I don't know dominance fuck I don't fucking know I don't care that's another one that that works for sure another one tickle tickle these girls oh my god um I love to tickle her before you have sex because it just takes her out of her element you know when you get tickled I'm very ticklish underneath my armpits and like right around my groin area like super ticklish around my groin area and if you've ever been tickled before which all of us have you'll know that you really kind of just lose control and it's a combination of, this is fucking funny, and okay, I kind of hate you right now. So, once again, be calibrated about it. Don't tickle her until she starts, like, crying and, like, can't fucking breathe. But tickle her. Um, her ticklish spots that I found are on her shins, um, underneath her armpit. And honest to God, that's really about it. This girl is really not that ticklish. Um, she masturbates every day, so she's very sensitive in her pussy. But outside, like, of her shins and underneath her armpits, she's really not very sensitive. But anyways, so tickle your girl um, for sure. And then this next one is a little bit different than the four ones I mentioned prior, is leave her alone. Leave her alone in your bed. Make her be by herself. Make her miss you. Make, make her just feel comfortable being by herself over at your house. You don't always have to be there fucking like watching her making sure like she's not looking through your computer and making sure like she's not like fucking up your room I don't know just give her some alone time when she comes over maybe take a shower by herself maybe go downstairs and cook something I don't know make her be alone make her be alone and I'm gonna go ahead and try to wrap this video up I've got two more things to talk about and they don't really relate to the five that I mentioned earlier and these are just a couple other things I've learned from having a fuck buddy over. Buy extra toothbrushes. Get some makeup wipes. I'm not sure. You know what you really need to do and what I really need to do is I need to go to Boy Toy. Boy Toy has an article that lines out basically everything that you should get if you bring girls over for one night stands. If you've got a fuck buddy, whatever. Um, there's just a few things that you can get that will make their experience be better and they'll just feel more comfortable coming over again and again. And definitely toothbrushes for sure is one. Um, makeup wipes, I feel like all girls should have those anyways. And I don't really have enough money to be buying that shit. But a toothbrush, I can afford a toothbrush. So I'm definitely gonna give my girl a toothbrush. And this last one, um, I learned the hard way after having sex with a few girls and never really remedied it, was get higher quality condoms and get higher quality lube. The condoms that I've been using on like these four or five girls that I've fucked, they're super cheap. Um, they're just super shit. Like I swear to God, they would be like desert dry after just like two minutes of sex. Um, this girl that I'm messing with right now, 
Um, we're going raw, so I'm not using a condom. And she has a lube that tastes like strawberries and it's uh, warming as well. And I gotta tell you, with without the lube, sex was really good, but with the lube, like it was just crazy. It, it was it was a lot better. So I'm going to invest into some higher quality lube and I'm not gonna be going raw with every single girl, that'd be stupid. So I'm gonna invest into some uh, better condoms because if your condom just dries up in like two minutes, you're gonna have a terrible time and she's gonna have a terrible time regardless of how, how much you wanna fuck each other. So I would love for you guys to leave some comments. Um, let's talk about those five things I mentioned. Um, I'm betting money that basically all you guys already do these things, but if you don't, maybe you should you should try them out. I know that I'm gonna probably learn a few more over these next few weeks of fucking her or getting new girls. Just some things to do. I don't think you should be conscious of it all the time and be like, okay, my girl's coming over. KK said to try to do these things. Let me let me try them. You know, let, let's see if these these techniques work. No, motherfuckers, they're not techniques. Just. Just log them, gold mine them up here, and then maybe one of these days you'll just naturally try them out. Because if you're forcing these things and you're like, all right, I got a slapper, you know, it's just it's just going to go terrible. Just just gold mine this shit and then naturally do it one of these days and uh, see how it works for you. It's working really well for me. My girl wants to come back like every day, but that ain't going to happen.